Disturbing photos from Interstate 95. A commuter bus sidelined on the shoulder, passengers forced to evacuate. We're on 95 with all that traffic. You know, it's just a dangerous situation. And I saw smoke, a lot of smoke, Mr. Sims. Excuse me. <clears throat> no injuries, but plenty of frightened passengers. The situation happening April 22nd becoming worse when the rear of the bus burst into flames. A rider in a passing van capturing the scene, putting the video on social media. It was only by God's grace and God's mercy that we were able to go through the tunnel before it caught on fire. The Maryland Transit Administration says about 15,000 people rely on the commuter bus service every day, traveling to and from Baltimore and the suburbs. I definitely feel like I deserve better. These commuters complain about buses being late, not showing up at all, breaking down and perhaps more troubling, serious safety issues. Regular passenger Anita Baird saw a bus in trouble while driving her personal car. I pulled in front of the bus, honking my horn, letting them know that there was smoke coming out of the back. And she's reported other issues. I've complained several times about it smelling like something was burning. You just changed the brakes. It could possibly be transmission fluid runoff. Lakeisha Thornton says those are some of the explanations bus drivers give passengers about strong odors and fumes. Under any condition when you can smell fumes, that can't be good. Um, very often we come home with headaches. Very often you come home kind of sick to your stomach. You feel a little tired, a little lethargic getting off the bus. Maintenance records obtained by the I-Team show the bus catching fire in April, bus number 145, had been inspected just one day earlier. Technicians finding no serious problems. So what happened? The MTA declined our request for an on-camera interview, but blames the fire on a turbocharger, an engine component. The bus is no longer in service. Our goal at the MTA, the agency tells us in a statement, is to provide safe, efficient, reliable transit with world-class customer service. Despite best efforts, issues may arise that are out of anyone's control. We will act immediately to correct the situation. The IT team asked about another smoky bus breakdown in September. The MTA claims it too had a turbo failure that did not result in a fire. There are 276 buses in the commuter fleet, most supplied by contractors. Academy is one of them. We didn't hear any complaints about its buses. Complaints all center around buses owned by the MTA with the MTA signage. Academy maintains and operates a number of them. The MTA says since the bus fire, Academy has proactively started replacing the turbochargers on the state-owned coaches in the Academy fleet. But we've discovered many of the state-owned vehicles are very old. More than half have been on the road for 12 or 13 years with hundreds of thousands of miles. The MTA has started to retire them. It could take 14 months to replace them all with newer, privately owned vehicles. I'm seriously concerned about my safety and my health. Commuters seeking comfort and safety in their ride want the MTA to move faster, getting those buses off the road now. For the 11 News I team, I'm Barry Sims. Now, the MTA tells the 11 News I team it's working with a new software program for direct tracking of buses that helps pinpoint service and other problems.